Welcome to gardenvideo.com. My name is Markus Kobold and Daniel Lapart is showing us how to graft walnuts. If you want to have a walnut of the variety you want, you have to graft it. If you are sowing only nuts in the, in the earth, you will have uh, every plant who is developing will be different, it will not be the same as the mother. So you have to graft and then we show us in three steps how to graft walnuts. Step number one is the grafting process itself. Daniel, how it is working? Well, I hope my English teacher is not watching now. Okay. He is not watching, okay, for sure. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm really... Okay, here we have the rootstock of a walnut. Actually, this has been uh, put into the ground, a nut, last year. And it grew uh, during the summer to that height. So it's, it's quite uh, fast growing. And here on this side, actually, I have the, um, the variety, a good variety. It's a local variety from here with a, with a big nut and, uh, and a good taste. So we have to bring that together now. I have to bring this good variety on that rootstock. And I do it with the help of this machine. Actually, this machine is, uh, was uh, constructed for uh, wine grafting, but I also can use it for walnut grafting. And, so, uh, yeah, just show us how it okay. works. Okay, so here I have the rootstock and now I cut it and I have to find now the same... The same size, size the same size diameter. Exactly. Right. Push it again and now it's together. Show us. And it's stable together? It's it's quite stable. It's 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 in a shape of an omega. Yeah, can and you show us the omega part? Yes. It's here. Here you have the the root stock. Yeah. And here it's the omega. Yeah. It's not just it's very difficult to make it sharp. So we go near like this. So show again the omega part of the rootstock. Yes. Here it's. Yeah. You see, it's a darker one here, and the the lighter one that this. And is this the, omega part of the rootstock is the reason that the whole thing is rather stable. Exactly. Yeah. Can you show again? So I will show the machinery from the other side. Okay. Yeah. I have to find something. Sorry. Here. Okay. And it's uh, I I need my leg or I'm, uh, my foot to, to press it here. Yeah. This machine it's nothing with electricity. Okay. Grafted by foot. Exactly. Just done. Again the omega part. Show me the omega part. It's here. It's the omega part. Yeah. Okay. Again. Okay, and this helps that the whole thing is stable. Yeah, and it, it's important that uh, it's about the same uh, thickness of the rootstock and of the, the grafted okay. variety up there. Okay, and you are binding something around the rootstock and the graft, or you don't no, use anything? No, I'm not anything? going to, to bind it because then it, it won't grow together as well. So that's actually the reason we, we, we make uh, this, this kind of omega cut. It keeps together like that without any. It's mechanically fixing. stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this was the first step. So grafting uh, walnut rootstocks and walnut branches together to have the right varieties, shown by Daniel Lappard. The next step will be uh, waxing the graftings. We will see in the next videos. Thank you, Daniel.